also been playing around with graphene and plastic. I just made a little. This is actually. Well, it's not that hot. Anyway, it was hot um, on the hot plate. Put a little uh, ABS plastic in here and a little bit of graphene. Uh, measure it out by uh, weight. And you get this little thing right here. And you can see it gets stuck. It's not very good on the uh, glass rod. In fact, it's so hard on the glass rod that it, it broke the glass rod. But I was stirring it around. It's okay. It's not. Didn't cut myself or anything. I had safety equipment like you should. Um, but then it made this. You get it rolled out into aluminum foil. You cool off, and, and you just. <laughs> That's strong. That's pretty strong right there. And it's about an eighth of an inch, you know, two, two and a half millimeter, something like that. I can put my weight on it. Stabbing it. Cool. Now you can see how strong this stuff is compared to regular. Because the regular stuff would just flex. It'll it'll flex and it'll break. But this has a higher uh, modulus. It's, it's really strong. And look, I didn't even get it that well mixed. So I mean, it's it's pretty good, but it's it could be better. Mind you, there is a way to mix this in really thoroughly and using just a tiny percentage of graphene compared to the weight of the plastic. So that's pretty cost effective. There you go, it's that strong, I'm telling you.